What is up, everybody? And welcome, welcome to the internet famous internet show. I'm your host, Devalor, and we've got a lot of great stuff to talk about tonight. But first, I need to introduce my co-host, a man who is easily the uh, the number one aquatic based content creator in North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it's AKA Mike B. We're gonna, I'm gonna put in like a cheering track here. Yes, right. thank you. Yes. Yes. yes, number one. Number one. Number one. There you go. Yeah, so hold on, hold on. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I'm out. I'm, I'm dead now. Uh, <laughs> and joining us tonight, <laughs> joining us tonight uh, as a fellow community manager, actually, uh, mm-hmm. working with XSplit Japan. Uh, he also streams in both English and Japanese at the same time, just, you know, to make the rest of us look bad. Ladies and gentlemen, please, please give me a warm welcome for Mr. Hi Guy. Hello, everyone! I'm glad to be here. Exactly. I am the XSplit Maestro. I got so many cameras that everybody don't even think that it's necessary, but I do have two cameras. <laughs> I can show you guys But at the same time, why do I even want to do that right now? Because we're just doing the podcast. Or it's amazing. It's a, it's a, simple, it's a simple show. It's a simple it, show. It, Exactly. I guess I don't have to do too much. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. We gotta just we're yeah. chill it. Chill it. Okay. We got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. I guess uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're uh, so you're you're working. Uh, you work with XSplit uh, Japan for as a community manager, right? So that was the main focus for me for uh, two years. I was just working XSplit Japan, but then uh, our co. Uh, uh, Fellow American community manager uh, Brandon has quit last year, and now I'm pretty much taking care of America and Japan. Oh, oh man! So my work increased. I haven't gotten that raise yet. Please, XSplit, please. Go on, go on. <laughs> but, I like it. So, you but, the pit bull haircut is perfect. I, there I you know. go. Every, yeah. Everybody say that I'm pit bull for some reason. <laughs> 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 so, but yeah i do that as well as stream uh i i wouldn't consider i stream full time but then i guess i do stream five days a week uh four to five hours so if some people consider that full time then i do i would say yeah, yeah because there's also like all the time they're set up and everything that you put in <laughs> that's there. true that's true it's not like live stream yeah, yeah. is I, the hour that you put in it right especially so. i mean so so i uh, you you're you're you haven't been a uh, part of like this like microcosm of a community that we've had with like game breaker and everything uh um, you and i met like long after all that like just a couple years ago mm. and you're the best way to describe your streams is i think even you have said it's kind of like a like a japanese variety show right yes yes Where you have like all of these crazy events and all of this these crazy scenes set up and there's just so much almost like ridiculous <laughs> levels of like production with like wavy glowy unicorn hands and like oh, everything it's Wait, insane so i can actually you, you love, right <laughs> yeah yeah i mean i, I think people have probably people would probably say i've retweeted a handful of your crazy shenanigans but uh yeah i think josh is gonna pull up at least like one of these clips here yeah uh, oh my here goodness. we go where you oh, this you, you, oh there we go that that, that was uh when i was uh preaching out for everybody to be bald <laughs> because uh, everybody's like, "Hey, man! Like, ah, uh, I the wind's blowing and my hair's annoying." So I'm like, "Oh, you you don't want to ha- be worried about all your hairs? Then why not just let that hair go?" And that's what I was just doing on stream. Wow. And then, you know, that's uh, yeah, the the LSD preacher, the LSD <laughs> preacher is like, just let it go, let it go, while wearing a Frieza onesie as well too. <laughs> just let it go. <laughs> But yeah, I loved watching Japanese TV shows. So because of that, I wanted to make my own Japanese TV show or I wanted to watch a lot of Japanese TV show kind of content on stream. But I haven't really gotten the pleasure to see a lot. So I wanted to go ahead and make one. And hopefully that would inspire a lot more people to do some crazy show. So I could go watch it too. So that's probably why I do all these crazy stuff. And 
I'll, I'll do it like there. Like I won't do it, keep on doing it, but I'll just come up with something and do it. And then I'm like, <laughs> release it out on the internet. I'm like, go ahead, people copy yeah. that. Do, do something copy crazy. That. Go, go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. No, I can, I can certainly, uh, I, I can certainly see where you're coming from. I have much the same problem where, uh, well, I, a, I'm a full time community manager who's also a full time streamer. So there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, but also like every time I get a new thing of any variety, I'm like, how can I stream this? What mm-hmm. what is something I can do with this while streaming? Like, hmm, how can yeah. I get how, I got like I got this mixer and I was like, hmm, now how? Can, well, yeah, exactly. With your, your little like, <laughs> Here's this weird can, thing. Let's put it on the stream. Yeah, figure out how to stream it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. What's this tape measure? Fuck it. Let's put it on the like, oh, you got a shake weight? Why don't you just go ahead and shake weight? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not trying to get banned from Twitch oh, here, okay? Oh, you got two, two shake weights? Why not? Why not? Oh, oh you, you need three shake weights? Maybe just... Oh, 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 you got, you need five shake weights. Okay, let's just... Why let's do you just, have the Let's three? just shake off. Why yeah, you, you have so many... <laughs> It, it kind of kept on growing. It was supposed to be a one-time thing, and then it just kind of <laughs> why, do have, to- <laughs> why does any human being own five shake weights? <laughs> why not? Is the question. Uh, why I mean, isn't I, everybody owning a shake weight, I, man? Come on. <laughs> I mean, I guess eventually you kind of like you 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 kind of grow out of one. Like you know, like you use one for a while, and then it's just like this is not enough. So you know, I need two. <laughs> Now you were jumping around with one shake weight. I'm like, I wish I had two. And there we go. Oh, man. And then you had five. (laughs) (laughs) Someone gifted me one and I got two. And then from there, I just kept kept on growing. Oh, man. You've become a shake weight collector. In yes, yes. I, I would be uh, analyzing each shake weight and, uh, you know, uh, depending on the colors and weights, and <laughs> I will analyze everything and explain it and then try to sell you one. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm uh, cracking up at Zadster in the chat right now. It was just like, well, it's good to have a hobby. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely, definitely. Oh, man. Uh, all right, so uh, moving on to uh, the actual topics we had set out for this. Oh, 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 we're not talking about shake weights. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Put them all down. So I think um, I think the biggest thing to talk about this week. Um, I'm actually going to go back to this view. I think the biggest thing to talk about this week is probably Black Panther. It just came mm. out. Um, I thought it was great. Uh, Same here. We, yeah. So what what were your thoughts on it? So. I watched it on Tuesday, so it's still fresh in my mind, but mm. I really loved it. Um, I I thought like the first half of the movie and the second half of the movie was two completely different movie in a good way. Mm. Like the second half looked like the traditional like superhero movie that Marvel was uh, releasing. And then the first half, it looked a lot more like uh, James Bondish kind of where they'll go on a mission and see what's going on get some mm. more information and there's all the gadgets and everything too kind of feeding yeah up. exactly so yeah, i it, like in one sitting i felt like i was able to watch two good movies which is great that that's why i think i like uh definitely black panther was great yeah, yeah. I, th- I thought it was really really good i was really pleased with how they they handled the subject matter as well because obviously like a a a black superhero is going to be a big deal. And they were, they were able to put it together. I thought it was really cool. They were able to put it together in a way that obviously just based on like social media and everything has been Mm. speaking well to, to that audience, but also like it's reaching a much wider audience and it's showing a lot of the, the sort of issues and stuff and everything that comes just as someone who is like becoming more and more keenly aware of social issues as time goes on. Mm. I thought they, they handled it very, very well. Um, And it was just, it was just a great movie as well. Mike, what did you think? I mean, that was great, man. I mean, uh, it had uh, Panthers and <laughs> Black Panthers, at least at least one. And then um, mm-hmm. it had a beginning. Uh, yeah. yeah, totally. And then it had an end. And then mm-hmm. it had the mm-hmm. stuff after the credits, right? I mean, it was... Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, the after the credits yeah, thing was the amazing. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, was yeah. Good. yeah. Um, the guy. Yeah, yeah, with, with the that guy. guy. Yeah, with with yeah he, guy. Said the, he said the thing. I don't want to spoil it or anything for anybody. Um, but yeah, it had a middle part too that was pretty good. I thought, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the middle, middle part was all right. right. Middle part was pretty good. Yeah, I know it was my favorite part actually. The middle part, you know. Oh, the mm. middle part, yeah. Yeah, the, especially the middle part that come, came after the beginning and before the uh, 
It's then, important. It's then, important to get oh, the yeah, movie yeah. in the right order. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can't yeah, start out with the movie. Yeah, some movies that like Memento, right? Like it didn't, didn't quite get that right. You know, just didn't quite nail that. You know. So yeah, Mike has not seen Black Panther. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. In case anyone hadn't picked up, I don't on know that if you guys yet. could tell. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we almost didn't even talk about Black Panther. Um, yeah. But then AJ was like, "We're not talking about Black Panther." And I was like, "We are now." Exactly. Like, Why? <laughs> that movie was great. <laughs> it was uh, good. But yes, it was um, great. Yeah. So I guess speaking of man, how do I even tie this together? So speaking of Black Panther, by which I mean speaking of the next big thing, by which I mean speaking of the new social media platform Vero, mm. that, that kind of worked. Then almost a little bit, it got a little bit rough. So here's, here's, rough kind of the, here's kind of the big question with it. So a whole bunch of people um, over the last couple of days have been, um, especially on Twitter, have been really talking about this new social media platform called Vero. Um, I'm actually going to pull up their, their manifesto. So as soon as someone says, this is our manifesto, I, I have to kind of side eye them a little bit because it's always a little bit like, wait, <laughs> that, <laughs> that comes off a little bit hipster. When you're like, here's our, here's our well. manifesto. <laughs> so here's their manifesto. Um, and it's long and I'm not going to read everything, but it's, um, it's formatted like a, like a high school poem. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. It, it, a little it bit, gives yeah. you the feels. It's like, yes, yeah. yes. Feel it. <laughs> and naturally. People are never presented with a one size fits all audience. We share different things with different people. That that sounds a lot like how I just reviewed Black Panther without even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's interesting though. It's interesting. I think, I think what we're kind of seeing. So the the platform itself does a few things that I think are kind of actually good. I really actually like the way that it sort of organizes out um, your connections between like close friend, friend, acquaintance, and follower. Because that that does kind of like a, a lot of what they talk about in here is like the way that people naturally tend to form friendships. Um, and it does kind of fall into that a little bit where you kind of want to be able to go, okay, this is really, really deeply personal. So I only want my close friends to see it. Or this is a picture of my food. Everyone look at my food and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of cool how it lets you sort of choose that um, at the post level all of the time and very, very easily. Whereas that's something you can kind of do with Facebook, but it's a pain in the ass. Um, the biggest thing for me, though, OK, I guess before before we move on, is there is there anything? What do you guys think they're doing right, I guess, with this platform? Is there is there anything that they're really doing right with this platform? So go ahead. Like right now. Sorry. Right now, I'm actually pulling up a couple people mm. just to oh. kind of look at what they're. So they're like at. the thing is, I don't have an account on Vero yet, but I started seeing people making an account on Vero and then I just realized that it's just a, another social uh, SNS media platform. But while after our reading the whole manifesto, I start thinking, I don't know exactly how this whole platform works yet, but then the idea popped in my mind that are you going to be live streaming all like the IRL section? Like, are you mm. going to be just live streaming exactly everything? Not like, because it, in the manifesto, it shows like you, it's not, because you're just showing whatever you want to show. So sometimes it's not genuine or something like that. That's how I kind of got the vibe from the manifesto. So it's like, are you going to just show the completely true self of yourself? But <laughs> yeah. not going to yeah. be taking a selfie of when you're like, I just woke up and try to just, you know, put on makeup and, you know, do the, <laughs> woke, on woke the up pillow like thing. All right. Or are you just going <laughs> to literally really going to wake up and take a picture and, He's like, yeah, this is a real yeah. just woke up picture. So that's what I got. I'm not exactly sure how this would uh, go ahead and develop, but that's my initial opinion on the platform right now. Yeah. So the um, it feels like they're trying to basically have a clean slate, like refresh of like every social media in one. Right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. They have um, you can actually recommend music, books, movies, shows. Uh, in line in your feed, which I think is kind of cool, right? Um, like being able to post a picture and then being able to post like you know whatever song that you're listening to that you maybe you think other people should listen to. And you know, I think I feel like I have good taste in music, and I feel like other people will benefit from that. So I'll share that on my feed. Uh, and then there's movies and such. You know, you could put you could put that stuff in line with your feed. It 
feels a bit weird when you look at your all like for example for me like i have uh i have like three pictures up um and it's it's all photography related stuff like three photography related images uh and then in the middle of that uh because i added a song before i added another picture in the middle of that is like a song that i, that I was listening to i was like oh, i'm gonna share this to see what it looks like you know i shared it um <clears throat> i feel like it's it's a cool concept right uh because like there are people that that i follow that you know i'm curious like what you know what it is that they're listening to or whatever and mm -hmm. I didn't really give a shit about that kind of stuff for the longest time until uh, I met, until I became friends with Total Biscuit uh, and had his Skype. And on his Skype, he has a like some kind of RSS feed that constantly feeds like what he's listening to. Mm. And like this dude is constantly listening to video game soundtracks. I don't mm. think he listens to, he probably has no idea who like Bruno Mars is or <laughs> even fucking Nickelback. He has no idea there because he does nothing but listen and like metal, he obviously knows metal. Uh, but it's when I saw that, I was like, that's really interesting. I never would have guessed that somebody, I might mean, get it. He plays a lot of games, but I figured he would take some time off. Let's do something else. Uh, so I think that concept is actually very cool. Mm. Um, it's just a matter of like, can it get over the stigma of, Oh God, another Google plus or, uh, mm. LO or whatever. Like it's got to get yeah. past that. And once it tackles that hurdle, then it can, uh, then it can move on to, you know, expanding and doing it, whatever else it wants to do in this manifesto and their plans. Yeah, like a lot of people have been comparing it to Google Plus because one of the big things that Google Plus did when it came out was have its circles thing where it was like you make your different you, you sort of define mm -hmm. your own different social groups um, and that way you can share to just those groups or whatever. Um, the way I think the way that Vero is doing this is a little bit more sensible because it's a little bit more usable because it's mm -hmm. it, instead of it being like, OK, you have to make your your cycling circle of friends and your video game circle of your friends and your beer circle of friends. And maybe some people need to be on both lists. So it just yeah. becomes this massive upkeep <laughs> of like, hang on, let me note down what all of my friends are interested in so that I can put them in the right categories on my social media. This is just like, OK, are they a close friend or not? There you go. Yeah, um, exactly. <clears throat> and, and yes. The, oh, good. Well, I was going to say the, the, the thing that we learned from from Google plus is that a social network needs to have, it needs to hit a critical mass uh, to work, to really take off Google plus. I actually think the thing that killed Google plus was the way that they did the rollout where if you if you remember when Google plus was first becoming available to people outside of Google, um, they were like, Hey, okay, everyone, you get five invites and you can send your five invites to anybody. So everyone immediately was like, oh, God, OK, we need to share invites with people that don't have it yet. And then they can share their invites and everyone will get in this thing. And they were like, what? No, that's bad. Close this down right away. People are trying to use our social media platform. We should stop that immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. And it just killed all interest in the platform pretty much yeah. like they they had the sort of word of mouth that was going for it. And I think right now, like the fact that Vero is getting so many people talking about it and getting so many people signing up for it, it's definitely bigger than it was for Elo when that came along, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Um, <clears throat> I actually think it has a shot, particularly because so many people right now are like ready for a new social media platform. Like people that use Twitter are becoming more and more disillusioned with Twitter, but it's kind of all there is in all yeah. those lines. And, uh, and Facebook is like, well, it's Facebook. It's old. It's archaic in my opinion. Anyway, I don't know. It's interesting. I'm keeping an eye on it. It doesn't do text only posts at the moment, which is a big a big mm, problem yeah. for me. You posted fucking Smash Mouth to I you. Did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, I want to make text posts. Like it was some kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could make text only posts. So now you can listen to Smash Mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, oh. but the the other big thing too is that it will um uh, is that it's it is chronological right now. And that's mm. a that's a mm. huge problem. Like when you go to other feeds, and especially like Twitter's the worst, man. They are the oh, worst yeah. at this. Like I'll go to Twitter. And like, I'll see something like, let's say like right now, it's like, oh, um, <clears throat> Adam Rippon, something, something like we talked about last week, right? Adam yeah. Rippon is a, the, the game developer getting whatever. So I'll, I'll click on it and I'll read that article and it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. That's something that I missed, whatever. Then when it come out, the next 10 tweets are related to that same exact story. And I'm like, do, mm. do I need to see the exact same thing <laughs> a million times? <laughs> I clicked on it so I could get the info. I'm done. <laughs> like, leave me alone. And, and, and they keep on feeding me tweets that are like, just 
freaking old. And Instagram does the same thing. Like it's just as Instagram is a little bit better because, you know, when I double tap on some boobs and then it keeps feeding me more boobs. I'm like, well, I mean, there's old boobs from like six hours ago, but I guess I'll go ahead and double tap on it. It's fine. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, I could say that with Twitter as well, because sometimes I want to find a tweet that just was tweeted out. Someone would say like, someone tweeted this thing. So I'm like, oh, let's go to Twitter and look at it. I need to search it or else like, it'll keep on feeding me, especially on the phone. It's like the highlights that you probably might have missed. And I'm like, no, I don't care about the highlights. I just want to read the tweet that was just posted five minutes ago. Five but minutes like, ago. let me feed you with this 12, 15, 24 hours of tweet that you might have missed. I'm like, I don't care. And then I could also like, don't show it to me. But it's like, yeah, okay, okay. We won't show it to you. But what about these tweets? I'm like, no, no. That's not what I want to watch. So yeah, Twitter is uh, pretty horrible about that. Yeah. I yeah. Totally agree with that. yeah. Um, one thing, standing from the Japanese speaker's perspective, Vero's logo is a little bit um, laughable. Uh-oh, just because the V doesn't look like a V, so you only see arrow, E-R-O, and arrow means pervert in Japanese. So <laughs> hey, you guys want to check out my pervert? <laughs> <laughs> the reason why you're on this particular episode. Come to arrow right now. <laughs> I'm like, okay, that that's definitely because I didn't know this was the Vero website first. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, and I'm like, oh, that's a V. That's a V. Oh, I thought it was Arrow the whole time. I'm like, why is this being linked? <laughs> oh so, man. So yeah, definitely they oh, should. Oh good. It sucks if they paid so much money to design that logo. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple, a couple of details. Couple of details. So I. Uh... Thank you, uh, David, for linking this because it's pretty concise. But uh, they are going to be charging yearly mm. after uh, the first million users. That's why they keep talking mm. about the first million users not to pay anything. They say that it's going. They tweeted. They said uh, that they're going to. They they intend for the cost to be about as much as two coffees. Now, two coffees could be anywhere from the two dollars to fifteen dollars, <laughs> depending on is where this, you go, where you live. Is this two Starbucks or two McDonald's <laughs> coffees? Let's let's yeah, clarify exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, it also says Vera will share your location without an option to turn off, turn the tracking off. Uh, that wouldn't be an, 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 uh, an issue for Android users, I think. Um, uh, and also for iOS users, you can disable that stuff. Uh, Vero has ownership of any content you share, uh, which is also identical to like Instagram and Facebook. Um, but uh, these are this this thing got like a ton of retweets. So I'm kind of like reemphasizing some of this. Uh, it's not it's not that dissimilar from um, from what we already have on Instagram and Facebook. If you post something on there. They could they could use it uh, in some kind of compilation or whatever if they wanted to. Uh, it's just there so that if they have some kind of official video or something and your picture gets shown on it, then they could say, well, yeah, you're on our site. You ended up in the video. And that's what that's typically there for uh, is basically a CYA uh, from that in that respect. But I think the biggest thing is going to be that yearly, the annual charge, whatever that's going to be and how people react to it. It's like, oh, I'm not going to pay for a social network. Yeah. And it's like, well. You know, it's like if it's something that gives me my my feed in chronological order uh, and I could post almost whatever I want. You know, I went through their terms of service and their user, their uh, uh, community guidelines, all that stuff. They don't say anything about nudity in there at all. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, and, and I don't I didn't see any. Well, I mean, I mean, if you guys want to post it in your news, uh, but I mean, like for my photography stuff, like I'm constantly having like, you know, like the tiniest, the tiniest, like two pixel nipple. I have to put a big ass sensor on it so that no one could see it, you know? Um, and so it's, it's like stuff like that. It's like, Hey, that's, that's kind of nice. I can just post whatever I want there without having to worry mm. about, you know, any kind of filter that might change in the future, of so, course. But so we're right back to arrow then. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It was maybe intentional. That was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're, we're going to Japan, baby. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, it's certainly interesting. I think it's something to keep an eye on. I think more just from the sense of a like it's it's clear that people are looking for a new social media platform right now. Um, and B also, I'm really interested to see how their their yearly subscription thing turns out. It's actually interesting. It kind of ties in a little bit to another topic that I didn't end up including in our in our main list. But there's this. Have you guys heard about this uh, Brave browser? Um, Brave. No. So there's this browser called Brave that a couple of uh, major YouTubers have started talking about. <clears throat> and basically what it does. I already don't trust it. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I don't trust this thing at all. 
<laughs> so it combines two of my favorite things, which are two two of my favorite controversial topics, which are ad blockers and cryptocurrency. Um, yeah, we- <laughs> oh man. So Let's it has talk about crypto. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, seriously, it has a uh, it has a built in ad blocker. Um. So it just blocks ads everywhere as much as possible. Okay. But you can like as a content creator sign up for like partner status or something with Brave which then allows people to spend their like own internal cryptocurrency on uh on people so like mm-hmm. I would go to Mike B's YouTube channel in Brave and I wouldn't see any ads on Mike's channel but when I was there it would be like yo you're on Mike's channel would you like to throw him a couple of Brave credits or whatever they call it um and it's it's weird because I don't see how this could ever possibly work out in favor of anyone because it's mostly going to be people installing it who then just never actually use any of the cryptocurrency and they just like, hey, it's a it's a browser with a built in ad blocker. Hooray. You know, so. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. It's interesting. Um, This sort of idea of. Are we at a point as an Internet society where we're willing to spend money on things? to not see ads. I don't know. You want to spend money? Well, isn't that like, you know, Twitch Prime or Turbo, YouTube Red? Mm -hmm. We already have that built into our society, but now it's kind of giving us uh, another browser to do so. I I don't know about the cryptocurrency yet because it's it's such a flimsy little area where it could go up, it could go down. Everybody starts right now start talking about it because some people made millions and that, but then if uh, that thing gets popular, there, you start seeing so many um, companies that tries to cash in on the whole craze and then run away from it with the investment money. It's like some of the, big connect. Like, Big connect. So I I Big Connect. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? (laughs) But but other than that, though, I I feel like it's still not. I'm a little bit hesitant to go into that. But if actually it does great, then you know the early investors or whoever starts gets a lot of money so it, it, i guess it just depends <laughs> yeah it's it's interesting for sure yeah and it says here like compensation for youtube creators no longer needs to be based on vague rules or, or mercurial agri- algorithms as users can decide who to compensate this new ability will especially benefit youtube creators who have not who have under ten thousand lifetime views as they do not receive ad revenue from youtube it just this seems like such an odd like alternative <clears throat> you know like it's like when you think, man, YouTube's not paying me anything. I really hope there's there's another, you know, uh, uh, video distribution platform that could pay me something for my content. And it's gonna be like, hey, how about a browser that blocks ads? <laughs> <laughs> that totally <laughs> makes sense. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. It's just, but yeah, it's 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 it is really odd. And just the fact that YouTubers are pushing it, like after. The uh, after the CSGO lotto crap, like I just know, oh, like if YouTube if yeah. YouTuber pushes something, I'm like, you're in on it, dude. Yeah, you're probably an investor <laughs> or something. You you yeah, probably yeah. have what a exactly. lot of brave credits. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so speaking of weird backwards ways to try and get people to pay for things, uh, so this this was I I didn't even know about this until just before the show. But apparently uh, some group that makes like uh, custom planes, basically, for uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, they came out with a new plane. Um, I'm trying to find exactly which one it was. It's uh, the A320-X Airbus. OK, an A320X. Um, they came out with this plane, which the installer, for whatever reason, uh, was triggering antivirus alerts. And people are like, oh, that's weird that this I'm installing this plane and they, they've come out with a whole bunch of different ones. So this was like the 15th of these, theoretically, that people were installing from this same group. And like, huh, all of a sudden there's there's a it's it's giving me this the, this antivirus alert when I try to install this thing. Someone looked into it, um, found a file called test.exe, which 
it called itself a Chrome password dump tool. Oh. Um, and so he was looking into it. <sighs> and then this thing ended up being actually like malware that the company had put in there because someone was pirating their planes. Was, I don't know. This this is so far down the rabbit hole that it's it's hard to keep track of. But uh, so basically the, the company, um, <clears throat> uh, they were talking on Reddit. Uh, they said, first of all, there are no tools uh, used to reveal any sensitive information of any customer who has legitimately purchased our products. The word legitimately being important there, I think. Um, <laughs> then goes on to admit that there's a specific method uh, which affects anyone whose serial number matches versions being shared on piracy websites like the Pirate Bay. Um, so there was this, basically, there was this malware that would steal all of your passwords if you pirated their plane <laughs> and, yeah. and send oh. it to them. Uh, <clears throat> and it is, they said it's only targeted against specific pirate copies of copyrighted software obtained illegally. And they were just like, oh, no, it's DRM. It's 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 DRM. If you pirate our software, we're just going to steal your bank passwords. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll steal your money from you. <laughs> so it's OK. <laughs> yeah, they, they even said they're like, oh, yeah, uh, some antivirus picks up our installer as uh, as of a Trojan. Just disable your antivirus when you install it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, so. It's, yeah, like, it's fine. Oh, no, it's fine. No, psh, yeah, you don't need that. Like it's yeah, yeah. it's completely ridiculous. Like so, first off, I know a lot of people are like, like, what the flight simulator? Like, who plays that anymore? Like, think about it. Like in 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 respect to like FIFA, right, uh, or just sports games in general. You may play a lot of games, and you might think no one plays that shit. No, a lot more people play that shit than all the games and the people you know that play games over here on this side. Like, especially like in our like sphere of influence. Uh, and this is the same thing. Flight Simulator has a ton of people that play it. My, my stepdad is one of them. Uh, and he's super serious about it. <laughs> he's yeah. got the whole setup and everything. Like, they really take it seriously, which is why they could sell these, these like mods or add-ons for, like for example, this one, yeah. $99.95, oh, which yeah. in turn is why people are trying to pirate it. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're literally, they're charging $100 for DLC, essentially. Third-party DLC for Microsoft Flight mm -hmm. Simulator. Um, and so people are trying that. to steal it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> like that's that's the sort of price that like, all right, we, we're charging a hundred dollars for this, so that maybe three out of every ten people actually pay that price. Like that's the sort of price that you set, expecting people to try and steal it. But they're like, no, 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 no. Everyone's going to pay for this. I yeah. Hmm. I really yeah, they, <laughs> the, the, yeah. Just the whole the whole exchange where like they're trying to go back and trying to reinforce it and try to double down on all this stuff. Like, yeah. it's like if such a specific serial number is used by a pirate and the installer verifies this against the pirate serial numbers stored in our server database, it takes a spe takes specific measures to alert us. And that program is only extracted to temporarily and is never under any circumstances used in legitimate copies of the product. The only reason why this file would be detected after an installation completes is only if it was used with a pirate serial number. And so it's like he's 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 explaining how that file ended up there and totally skirting what it does. Yeah, I love the, the like last sentence in that that um, paragraph you were just reading. Also, this method has already successfully provided information that we're going to use in our ongoing legal battles against such criminals. What legal battle are you going to win? <laughs> <laughs> Probably yeah. the legal battles are you got to defend yourself from one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, no, 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 it's it's fine, Your Honor. We just stole his bank account information so that we exactly. can incriminate him. We we yeah, just went yeah. into it. We hacked his computer to steal his identity. <laughs> so like, why, why did you do that again? It was like, oh well, we you stole a we wanted plan. to steal his uh, identity so we can. Frame him for uh, stealing yeah. our content. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, 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 yeah, the did, whole thing's crazy. They, they did end up saying, uh, we realized that a few of you were uncomfortable <laughs> with this particular method, which might be considered to be a bit heavy handed on our part. Yeah, possibly skirting on illegal. <laughs> like maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Just maybe. a tiny bit against the law. Some of you lawyers may think. <laughs> 
that this is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man, yeah, that I. <laughs> you wouldn't download a plane. Apparently, <laughs> would, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, like when I first saw this article too, I thought it was like another case of the like company does a funny thing to people who pirate their software. Because like, um, um, Serious Sam is a great example where they have DRM, but the DRM doesn't stop the game from launching because if it stopped the game from launching, they were like, okay, well, that will just make it so that people figure out a way to get around the DRM. What it does instead is it lets you play for, I don't know, like half an hour to an hour and then spawns in this infinite speed, unbeatable boss that just kills you. <laughs> like and i'm actually i'm gonna find a uh i'm gonna find a video of it real quick um that's so great oh my god it's so awesome yeah no uh <laughs> yeah like there's somebody else did something similar to the, similar to that but uh where they basically they write in some kind of feature or something that uh that will combat or i guess get revenge on people that steal uh, or that pirate this stuff yeah <clears throat> So this is Serious Sam, mm-hmm. and this guy is playing on a uh, a pirated version of the game. And at some point here, very very soon, we're gonna we're gonna get to. I haven't I haven't watched this particular video, but it's only like two minutes. There it is. This <laughs> boss just spawns in. Like, Whoa! <laughs> and it's it, it's unkillable. I mean, I guess you could technically kill it. He's certainly trying real hard right now, but it. Like, <laughs> You can't run away from it. You can try and like line of sight. It just chases you around nonstop throughout the game from here on. And, but throughout uh, the game while you go do other things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not even like a it's not even like, oh, you get to access this special side thing. Like it literally it's just going to chase you around. It gets faster and faster as time goes on. I mean, um, this guy is doing work, man. He's, he's, he's actually doing, doing it. He's, like doing he's his doing best. pretty like, well. I got to beat this guy. He might, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna outrun this piracy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being <laughs> piracy. Be pirate. <laughs> right yeah. So oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Please tell me. Please tell me he takes it down. Yeah, I would actually want to see someone take it down. Yeah. Can, can, we, can we tick ahead a little bit? I'm yeah. curious. He's like, do you get Oh, oh he, he found some. Ar- I think he, he actually managed to like find a spot where he could. Oh, God. What's, oh, the, what what's, the, what's going on now? Bigger, like some monsters are. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually really fast. Oh, oh, oh my god. What the oh. hell? Wait, is this like a different phase of the same boss? I don't know. I'm now I... starting to wonder if this is actually the. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so anyway, I like it has waves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that may actually be like a normal version of that boss or something. I'm I'm not yeah. entirely sure. Uh, but that, that's like one of the things that, oh wait, yeah, hang on. Here's, here's the, uh, the correct version of it here, which is in four by three for some unknown reason. Um, the original series. You can see it's a smaller version of that boss, but oh it's, my God, it's so oh fast. My God. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That feels a lot more like DRM. Okay, right yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh my God, I can't kill it. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. Because the other guy, he was doing work. He was doing work. This yeah. guy, he's, uh, this is not happening. Yeah, yeah, I guess the other one, uh, it was, it was actually just a boss from the. I haven't, I haven't played the game, but, um, yeah. yeah. I that's what I thought that this flight sim thing was at first. I was like, oh, it's gonna be funny. They're gonna have like the the engines go out on the plane or yeah, something. Exactly. That's hilarious. No, no, it's like I'm gonna steal your bag again. <laughs> I know. I can I see like, a virtual flock of pigeons or something yeah. like that, right? Like it had to be like your actual banking uh, information. They just shut the engine off on your life. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah. Um, but in other news, um, that I'm really really excited about. Just while we're going ahead and watching videos here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this one up because I'm super excited for this. Uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered is uh, is on the way in 4K. It looks like they've obviously upgraded the graphics a little bit as well um, from the original version, which is like 10 years old or something at this point. And so I've I've talked about Burnout on DigiWho before. This is a game series that I have always just absolutely loved. It's like as as racing games go, like this is the kind of racing game that I want to play. 
And so I'm just super hyped for it, basically. I just wanted to play the video and, and be super excited. <laughs> <laughs> like, just watch it. It's like, whoa! AJ, okay, have, yeah. you, have you played Burnout? Or, uh, Burnout no, Paradise? that's the thing. I actually never played the Burnout series. Mm. It's like these types of like arcade racers are just not my thing. Like, um, mm. like for me, it's like uh, uh, Gran Turismo. I like Gran Turismo. Obviously, Dirt. Mm. Like the ones that are like borderline arcade sim, sim you know? But like, mm. this is like, this is Rush 2049 to yeah, me. Like, this is, that's what it is, yeah. yeah, it's Rush 2049, which I love playing Rush 2049 at an arcade, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But like at home, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, maybe, I need, yeah. maybe, I, you know, maybe I need to give it a chance. And maybe this is an opportunity to do it right here. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Because everybody loves this game. Everyone talks about it, thinks it's the, the really? fucking best. It, yeah. was, it was great. I actually liked Burnout 3 more than I did Burnout Paradise, but I still liked Paradise. So you know what? I'll take it. Um, I'm still happy. About <laughs> I'll it. take it. Yeah. yeah exactly. Um, it's just like as far as arcade racers go, they did a lot of things really, really well. It's uh, very mm. engaging in the actual like takedowns where like you're racing along and you like have to pit somebody, and if you pit them right, it like does this whole slowdown effect, and they go flying off the screen, and Ooh. you get to like see in slow motion like what you just did to them and stuff. Oh, that's pretty mm -hmm. sick. Ooh. Yeah, and like um, they had this crash mode um, where it was like, all right. So here's a here's a hundred thousand dollar car. Here's a busy intersection. Do as much monetary damage as you possibly can. <laughs> so it was that like was you awesome. you ramp this like Lamborghini off of something, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna. Mm. And you, it was like a puzzle. You like plan it out. So you're like, okay, I've done this once or twice. Now I know that this semi truck's gonna drive through here at this point, and there's gonna be that car over there at that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ramp off of this. I'm gonna hit the semi truck so that it spins out. I'm gonna bounce off of the semi truck and land into this other thing instead, and then go like screeching sideways through this like shop and stuff. And it, like the whole time, it's like, you've just done five million dollars in damage. And you're like, yes, <laughs> that sounds great. It's, I, know, I would love to watch that. Yeah. yeah. Or even do it, huh? So I'm hyped. And the biggest thing I'm hyped for is that I'm really hoping that they're going to take like um, kind of like the Odd World series did where they came out with the new and tasty update. And now they're like, hmm. And now we're working on new Odd World games now that people like this new and tasty, this like sort of remaster of right. the original yeah. Odd World. I'm really hoping that this means we're going to see some new, some new burnout, some like, uh, mm, some new stuff. I'm excited. Do, you I'm excited. do you have any, do you have any, uh, reservations regarding EA being involved at all? I mean, obviously they're, they've always been, but yeah, like, I mean, they're just kind of inescapable at this point. So I'm just like, I hope it's good. There you go. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Yeah. Can't get away from them. It's coming out on um, PS4, Xbox One, uh, and then later it's going to come in on PC. Mm. If this thing comes out on Switch, I'm going to just die. I will just die. You can mm -hmm. actually do a monetary damage on the Switch. <laughs> 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 Let's see how I can launch the Switch. <laughs> It'll hit that PC over there. <laughs> you, you did $5 million of in-game damage, and you broke a $400 Nintendo Switch. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah high score high score, high score. <laughs> no, oh man so yeah um burnout paradise is coming back um really good game i still like burnout 3 a little bit more um speaking of 3 half-life 3 confirmed <laughs> oh yeah that's what i heard too um on the pc <laughs> half-life 3 confirmed uh yeah apparently a lot more fantasy with the mm. last yeah, yeah uh, that's what I heard. Yeah, they're taking. You think, uh, it's, you think this is gonna be the final one? Uh, I don't think so. They'll call it it. They call it a final one, but probably will at least continue fifteen more times. At <laughs> least, mm. just, just saying. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've got a. I've got a screenshot of it here of the Half Life. 3. Oh, we can finally see the fight. <laughs> yeah. Half Life Three. It, oh man, it looks. Um, it looks amazing. Honestly, it's um. Uh, it's um, it's. I mean, <laughs> it, it looks great. Yeah, it's uh, say, graphic looks amazing. Yeah. Do, do you get to travel around with the uh, three other guys? I hope so. I hope you yeah. get to travel around with three other guys and fight it's Shinra or something. Shinra. I don't know. Gordon Freeman Fashion Week edition. <laughs> 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 so um. This is not Half-Life 3. No, unfortunate. 
Unfortunately not. No, it is not Half-Life 3. It's actually... Um, I'm trying to find the... There's a video of it. Maybe, oh, I don't know. It was actually... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just keep looking at... So I'm looking at the Polygon article here. And, like... Looking at the different... <laughs> I need to zoom in on this. Like... This is... So it's new DLC for Final Fantasy 15 on the PC. And... It's if you get the game through Steam, you get the HEV suit, you get a crowbar and you get the Gordon Freeman glasses. And you can put them on your dude. And I. What? <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. That's... I like how Valve just uh, trolls all these people who likes wants to have like three and they'll just give anything but that yeah uh, it's great <laughs> I, like, I like it well i like watching the community with a popcorn it's just like what's going on right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh half life three confirmed probably not but let's see how- <laughs> <laughs> i yeah. want to see like some good clips of people doing like summons you know like bringing down like the oh big gods of the big ass characters with their like gordon freeman glasses or something <laughs> <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> like just just weirdly out of place. Little stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I mean, so odd. Final Fantasy 15 mm-hmm. divided by three is five. Oh. So, and they did just remake Final Fantasy 5 not long ago. That's true. So, Half Life 3 confirmed? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I, I don't know. Yeah, there was also there was an Assassin's Creed DLC for it as well. They just like, I don't know. I don't know who is crazier at this point, Square or Valve. They're like fighting to decide who's craziest. Well, I feel like Square is going pretty crazy. I like it. I, I like that crazy direction that they're going. Um, recently, I went to just a supermarket or whatever market. And I went to the cup noodle not, section. Not, not, wait, hold on a second. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> what? I went to the supermarket. Market or, or whatever like, market. Like, like, uh, grocery like, stores. There we go. That's the word. Was it just a <laughs> mediocre market or a normal market? Like, what was it? No, the, the thing is, in Japanese, there's supermarket. And they just call it supa. And they leave the market out. So I'm like, oh, let me talk in English so I can act like I'm a native <laughs> English speaker. Uh, the market. Yes, that's what I want to go to. The grocery store. There we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know what that is. Okay. So, the, you know, those uh, cup ramens and all these instant noodle section. And now you can buy cup noodles and it comes with a DLC code for Final Fantasy Dissidia and get character skins. Hmm. And it seems crazy because in Japan they did that weird cup noodle commercial where Final Fantasy 15 ties up with cup noodle where Noctis is wearing this cup noodle hat and they're doing all these crazy movie stunts but with a cup noodle hat. And it's, I I feel like Square is going to the comedic route, (laughs) which I'm fine with, but sometimes it's like, it's a grand story and you're just kind of officially making fun of it so you know when the officially like the the company gets into the joke it kind yeah, of ruins yeah, the yeah, joke yeah, yeah, yeah i feel like that's happening that's, yeah, a little bit right now which what is out here? What's this? allow oh, me to show you my complete set of chinese world of oh. warcraft coke <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <What>? <laughs> world of the warcraft coke i don't I, think there's actually coke in it I don't. I I can't. That why does that thing exist? I don't know, but I have one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I have. One. I was sitting here thinking, like, oh yeah, it's kind of like that time that World of Warcraft did that uh, Coke. Th- Wait, that's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me pull it out right now. <laughs> ha. Yeah. So that's a thing. I don't know, like. I feel like at this point, Valve is just being a dick about Half-Life 3. Hey, they are! <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like they just basically license it out everywhere to the point where people are going to be like, I don't even care if there's a Half-Life 3. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've seen the crap all over the place. I'm, I'm over. I'm done. Yeah. It's over. It's, forget it. And then, then that's when they'll drop it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
they're waiting for it. So, mm-hmm. so if you want Half Life Three, just don't talk about it. Mm. <laughs> just don't talk about it whatsoever. What some DLC comes up, you you you'll just be like, Meh. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, they, maybe they've gotten themselves to the point now where they can never actually release Half Life Three because no matter what game they actually come up with. It's it's overhyped at this point. Yeah. Like yeah. there's there's just no way. Like they they could come out with the perfect video game and people be like it was a bit short. <laughs> <laughs> I waited 15 years for this and all I got was 80 hours of gameplay. Yeah, especially now because nobody can enjoy anything right now. No, nobody no, yeah. enjoys anything at all. Like they have to find some reason to tear it apart. So yeah, it's gonna. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna do it anytime yeah. soon. And yeah, they never even finished the episodic content for Half Life Two. They came out with episode Half Life. Uh, did they ever even come out with Half Life Two episode two? I think. They, uh, yeah, that's that was the last one they did. Did they not? Let me see. I, uh, I couldn't remember if it was that hmm. they stopped at episode one and they were gonna make an episode two. Or if it was episode three, like Half Life Two, yeah, episode yeah, three. Episode two. Okay. Yeah, episode, episode two. No. Yeah. Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. Okay. Yeah, episode three is the one that doesn't uh, uh, exist. Yeah. Hmm. So, thanks, Valve. <laughs> you dicks. Um. So I guess while we're talking about like rebooted franchises and stuff, I I feel like yeah. we need to. We I wasn't. We weren't even going to talk about this, and then. I, I showed you guys this trailer before the show and it just gets even worse every time you watch it. <laughs> so let's 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 check out the reboot of reboot. Let's have an internet famous reacts. Yeah. So like dark ages. Alan Turing High. Only the most tech progressive school in the city. Nothing happens on the first day of school. This is my house now. Am I happy so to be one here? Thing is wrong is we'll it's not 3D. Room yeah. Zero. zero. Oh, room zero. They have they have their own app. Trey. I'm Tamara. It's the most tech progressive. Look at all this tech. Tech progressive school in, in the city. How many times is the word tech used? I knew this school was gonna be cool, but this is incredible. <laughs> it's just. Oh, Star Trek. And now comes the 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 shitty CGI. Who are you? Yeah, I love the C. No, that's too good. <laughs> She's an exchange student. Zip war. Strike this. Oh yeah. Energy shurikens. Energy shurikens. Yeah. and never reveal your guardian identities. Whoops. This is this is so not what reboot ever was. By the way, the whole thing about reboot was that like humans are actually terrible, and the the user is constantly sending down games to toy with everyone. And now it's like, oh, actually, the users have to go in. It's like Tron Two or Tron Legacy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No pressure. Do the right thing. This is what this means, right? You are next generation and this is Netflix. The That's the biggest thing for me is that this is Netflix, and this could be like Netflix's first in my mind, like really big miss. It's gonna blow. Well, I would say Netflix has missed a lot recently. Yeah, recently with uh, uh, Death Note. They oh, oh yeah, man. I forgot about that. Wait, was that an actual? That was a Netflix that thing. Was a Netflix thing. Oh man, hey. I. I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't watch I don't watch anime, right? Like I just can't get into it. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll watch Death Note. Like it's it's based off anime. Uh it's got what's his face in it, and he totally looks like the the Death Note character without the makeup. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was like, it's perfect. What's his name again? Fuck, I can't remember his fucking name. Um hold on a second, I'll pull it up. But anyways, like I go and I watch it, it is just a fucking abomination of a movie. <laughs> like it's just so 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 incredibly bad mm-hmm. uh Ryuk, the guy who plays Ryuk is uh um oh god i don't know what his name uh mm-hmm. it's just it's so terrible and after that i was like yeah you know i gave it a chance and now i'm done i'm out i'm not gonna even not even bother with it mm-hmm. uh will yeah, yeah william william defoe there it is mm, right there you go. um it's just yeah that was a bomb for sure 100 percent. yeah Oh, and Full Metal Alchemist just came out too. But that was uh, not really thing. Netflix original though. That Netflix just got the rights from a oh. movie that they mm. released in Japan like a while ago. So that's I, see. I, I don't. Well, Japanese people kind of ruin their franchise by themselves in a way. Like there, there are so many 
stuff that I want to talk about with those reboots, but we're not. <laughs> wow, there's like a whole there's a whole thing here. There's a whole yeah. thing going on in Japan. So, and I guess Netflix for some reason they're like, oh, Japan's already ruining it for themselves already. Let's just get the rights and release it on ours. And then if people talk bad about it, we could just say, well, that w- we just got the rights and we're just releasing it. The people in Japan loved it. What? What is that? What's wrong? Oh man. But yeah. Anyways, back to the reboot though. I like how everybody does that uh Iron Man thing nowadays. Yeah. They'll ha- even they did it in the Power Rangers. They'll just have whatever signs that's in the front that they'll glazily try to watch, but of- obviously they're not looking at it at all, but they'll just have these circle little icons. Yeah. Like, okay. And, I mean, admittedly though, like when Iron Man, when the first Iron Man came out, like that was really, really cool. Mm-hmm. Like that was a really great way to show that somebody is inside of a suit or they're inside of some kind of high tech thing that's not just shine lights on their face. You know, like uh, in every other like uh, space exploration or sci fi flick when they're wearing like a helmet of some sort, like usually it's just like it's open face. And then you see the um, uh, there's like a light in there that's shining on their face, which is like, why would you need a light shining on your face? <laughs> When you're out there in space by yourself, <laughs> who knows? But that's just the way they did it, right? They, they never really had like a way of showing you somebody that's inside a suit where their face is covered. And I felt like with the first Iron Man and all the obviously all the uh, Iron Mans uh, followed it, and even this really, that is such a cool way of showing somebody's inside of a suit. Yeah, it has to be super awkward to film for the uh, for the actor because it's like, all right. Here's the camera. <laughs> now act. All right, now act. <laughs> act like you're seeing everything all around. Yeah. It's like, look here, look here, look here now. Yeah. Exactly. All right, well, um, we have reached the point of the show where we need to uh, select a, a a name for the episode. Um, and we need we need uh, we need suggestions from the chat room. So we're going to give chat a couple of seconds to catch up just because of the Twitch delay. We don't have anything that just kind of like popped out. Of it. Like, mm-hmm. like we did the past couple episodes. It's been like the first couple seconds and it's like, oh, well, that's <laughs> that's the name of the show. <laughs> yeah, pretty much yeah. it. I'm interested. I'm really interested to see what suggestions we get for this one. <laughs> I've already we've already got a couple of good ones. So we'll we'll go ahead and take a look. Uh, <laughs> hobby. Hero famous. Uh, hero will be huge yeah. in japan that's pretty good that's yeah. pretty good <laughs> the hero will be huge in japan <laughs> arrow shake wave. half-life 3 reboot that's just begging for for thumbs downs right oh there my goodness. <laughs> yeah. is like, this ain't talking about half-life well, 3 man, <laughs> man. why is it in the title oh man oh. yeah vero will be huge in japan that's that's pretty good that's pretty good <laughs> That's good. <laughs> sea foam shirt does not all right, I guess. Mm. <laughs> my shirt. I need to polish my shirt. I actually really like supermarkets or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Supermarkets or whatever. Supermarkets like or whatever. Like oh my god. <laughs> Hundred dollar shake weight DLC. And I'll have a malware. On each shake way. <laughs> every shake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So for me, it's down to Vero will be huge in Japan or supermarkets or whatever. Man. Mm. Man. I feel like, so I'm going to be lame and I'm going to say the Vero will be huge in Japan is going to be difficult to get across in text particularly because a lot of the branding we use is all caps. Yeah. So oh, it'll yeah. just say Vero will be huge in Japan. People are like, wait, 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 what? That's true. Also, Vero will be huge in Japan. Internet famous featuring Hi Guy and Water Yankee. Like, it's, this might be a little bit long. Yeah. A little long. That's- I think the supermarket ones, it's nice and concise. Yeah, supermarkets yeah, yeah. and whatever. Supermarkets or whatever. Supermarkets or whatever. Also, wait, all, caps, all caps thing helps. So there you go. Yeah. That's good. Exactly. We did talk about supermarkets and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh yeah, so that is going to wrap up our show here today. Uh hi guy, thank you so much for coming on. This has been an absolute blast. Uh thank you so much for being here. Where can people check you out? 
Oh man, thank you too. And you, everybody can check me out at twitch.tv slash Omar Yankee. I stream five days a week from Tuesday to Saturday. And then I have Sunday and Monday off. Um, I, my Twitter is twitter.com slash uh, high guy, which is H I G H G A I. It's a short for high tension gaijin. So that's why I spell it that way. It's not because <laughs> I didn't know how to spell everybody. <laughs> it's like it's got a 420 thing. I was like, exactly. I was like huh? Well, no, I'm not always high on whatever. I'm high off of. Japanese a lot of people would shows. question that you on that. I think <laughs> after watching your, uh, your variety true. show. <laughs> but thank you very much for getting me into this show. I, I I had a blast too. To be honest, I usually speak in English and Japanese, so just being able to speak in English and having a conversation is always a new thing for us. So mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I always like need to hold myself for like I don't have to say it back in Japanese, so don't yeah, have to say it in Japanese. So that, that was great. Yeah. I mean, we do need to film the Japanese version of this show. Oh yeah, right of course. I'll, I'll dub this. everybody, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be dubbing my myself and the boy. So hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. AK Mike, AKA B, what do you got going on? Uh, I'm playing Abandoned Ship in mm. FTL with boats. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So far, not bad. So far, not bad. I'll play a little bit more tomorrow, and then that's it, probably. So it doesn't seem like it's early access, so uh, it's probably some more content coming, but so far, it's pretty promising, pretty fun. Yeah, I was watching you play it earlier, and it does actually look really good. I'm, uh, I'm probably going to pick it up myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have been your host, Devilor. Uh, you can find me, if you're watching this on Twitch, you can find me right here. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Devilor. Um, I've been going real hard into the Grand Theft Auto RP stuff lately. Um, I became a cop in a video game. <laughs> I had to go yeah. through, like, training and shit. Like, it was, like, seriously, yeah. like, Actually, I was trained like by cop. actual was- police to be a fake I- internet police. Yeah, I was watching your stream the other night, and you were you actually sound like a cop. And then I got another. I think it was like Moon was like on the other end. I was like, "The fuck is it? These guys are no, all like playing cops." Oh wait, what was that? It okay, well, bad, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's just like yep. what the fuck, crazy. Yep, yep, crazy shit. But yeah, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Um, again, it has been an absolutely uh, awesome show here. Had a whole lot of fun. Um, again, be sure to follow Internet Famous on Twitter and Facebook at twitter.com slash infamous, facebook.com slash infamous. Um, and if you missed any previous episodes, check them out on Mr. Mike B's YouTube, youtube.com slash aka Mike B. All right, guys. I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say that. Yeah.